Hello. Hello and welcome to Tickabilla. Now we are going to have a Tickabilla picnic today. Oh, do you want to come? Ha <laughs> ha! Have you got everything, Justin? Yep. <sighs> everything. Oh, I'm uh, not sure actually. Should we check? <laughs> All right then. Right. Pop the Tickabilla picnic basket down here and see what's inside. Right. One tablecloth. One tablecloth. Open yep. it out. Lovely. Three plates. Three plates. One, two, three. Three mugs. Three mugs. Three spoons. Three spoons. And three napkins. Three napkins. One for Justin. Thank you. One for Sarah J. And one for Tamba. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, <laughs> Tamba. <laughs> oh, are we having a picnic? We are. Yes, <laughs> indeed. But um, what are we going to eat? I knew you'd forgotten something. I haven't forgotten anything. We are going to have some funny tummy food. Uh -huh. My favourite. <laughs> <laughs> and why don't you join in too? <laughs> yummy, yummy, rumbly, tumbly. Yummy, yummy, rumbly, tumbly. Yummy, I'm in the mood yummy, rumbly, for some funny tummy food. Yummy, yummy, rumbly, tumbly. He's in the mood for some funny tummy food. I'd start with a slice of onion ice and then I'd bake a broccoli cake. He'd start with a slice of onion ice <laughs> and then he'd bake a broccoli cake. Next I'd try. Next he'd try. Some yogurt pie. Some yogurt pie. And finish it offy with some toffee coffee. <laughs> toffee coffee. Mm. I'm in the mood. For some funny tummy, yummy tummy food. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. How about you, Tamba? Oh, let me see. I'm yummy, in the yummy, mood rumbly, for some funny tummy, tummy food. Yummy, yummy, rumbly, tumbly. Tamba's in the mood for some funny tummy food. I'd like some smiley faces and chocolate laces with custard stew and jelly that's blue. Some smiley faces with chocolate laces and custard stew with jelly that's blue. And tuna ice cream. Tuna ice cream. With marmalade beans. Marmalade beans. And cheese that's mixed with raisins and peas. Raisins and peas. Mm. Cos I'm in the mood. For some funny tummy, yummy tummy food. Oh, I say all this talk of food has made me jolly hungry. Yummy, I'm in the yummy, mood for some tumbly, funny tummy yummy, food. Yummy, yummy, rumbly, tumbly. She's in the mood for, for some, some funny, funny tummy, tummy food. food. I'd like a turkey muffin with the raspberry stuffing and strawberry sauce with bacon. Of course. She'd like a turkey muffin with, with a raspberry stuffing and strawberry sauce with bacon, of course. And fish cakes with jam. Fish cakes with, with jam. jam. With double cream and ham. Double cream and ham. And if my tummy still rumbles, I'll have a cabbage crumble. Have, have a cabbage, cabbage crumble. Because I'm in the mood for some funny tummy, yummy, tummy food. We're all in the mood. All in Funny tummy, yummy tummy food. <laughs> oh, delicious. delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, well, I hope you've saved some space because there's lots of food in today's story. Let's see, shall we? Tickabilla, tockabilla, tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the tickabilla clock? Now the long hand is pointing up to the number 12. So that means it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the number 10. So that means it's 10 o'clock. But what's underneath the clock? It's some potatoes in some earth. 
Now, today's story is called Oliver's Vegetables. Finish up, Oliver, said his mum, or we'll miss the bus. Oh, can't we walk to Grandpa's house? asked Oliver. No, said his mother, it's too far. Hurry up. The best thing about Grandpa's house was the wonderful garden. I grow all my own vegetables, Grandpa said proudly. I don't eat vegetables, Oliver told Grandpa. I only eat chips. Oh, well, uh, if you want chips, said Grandpa, you must find the potatoes. If you find something else, you eat that and no complaints. Is it a bargain? Oliver ran round the garden, but he couldn't see any potatoes. They must be hiding, he said, and pulled at the nearest leaves. Carrots, said Grandpa. Just the thing for Monday lunch. <laughs> Oliver ate his first carrots for lunch. Oliver took a long time making up his mind on Tuesday. Gran and Grandpa came to watch him. Those crinkly leaves are pretty, he said at last. Are the potatoes there? <laughs> spinach, said Grandpa. They had spinach for supper. Oh, that was good, said Oliver. On Wednesday, Oliver got up early. Potatoes are very important, he said. So they must have big leaves. <gasps> Here they are. Grandpa smiled. <laughs> That's rhubarb. They had rhubarb pie that evening. Mmm, that was very good, said Oliver. It rained on Thursday. When it stopped, Oliver hurried outside. Have you found the potatoes? Grandpa asked. No, said Oliver. I found slugs and snails. Are they eating my potatoes? Grandpa shook his head. <laughs> That's cabbage. Oliver had two helpings. Mmm, very, very good, he said. On Friday, Oliver was sure that he had found the potatoes. When he pulled at the leaves, up came some beetroot. That night, Oliver ate all of his beetroot salad. Very, very, very good, he said. On Saturday, Oliver played football. The ball landed in a tangle of sticks and leaves. Oliver was sure the potatoes weren't there. And Grandpa nodded. Peas, he said. Oliver had three helpings of pea soup that evening. Was that good? asked Grandpa. No, said Oliver. It was delicious! Oliver rushed into the garden on Sunday. Here they are! Well, how did you know? asked Grandpa. They were the only things left, said Oliver. Can we have chips now? Oliver asked. You scrub the potatoes, said Gran, and I'll peel them. Grandpa can cut them up. Oliver, Gran and Grandpa sat down to eat. The door opened and in walked Oliver's mother. She saw the plate of chips. Oh dear, I did hope Oliver would eat something different while he was here, she said. Oliver and Grandpa looked at each other. His mother stared as they laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> do you like potatoes? I do. Hey, Justin, will yeah. you come over here and play a game with me? Oh, of course I will. See if you can guess what this game is. OK, yeah. if you put your fists out like this... OK. ..and then I'll put one fist on top of yours, and if you put your other fist on top of mine... Right. ..and then I'll put my fist on top, and then you take your fist from the bottom and put it on top... Ah, yes. Do you know what game it is? I do. Do you know? It's one potato, two potato. Uh -huh. Shall we have a go? Yeah, great. You go first. OK, and why don't you join in with us? Yes, count with us. Okay. Ready? Yep. 
One potato. Two potato. Three potatoes. Four. Five potatoes. Six potatoes. Seven potatoes. More. Ah, <laughs> you won. <laughs> Shall we have another go? Yeah. OK, I'll okay. go first this time. All right, are you ready? Ready to count? One potato. Two potatoes. Three potatoes. Four. Five potatoes. Six potatoes. Seven potatoes. More. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I won. Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to go and play this with Tambra. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. All bye. right, then. Bye-bye. Can you guess what else I'm going to do using my hands? What's this? <laughs> That's right. I'm brushing my teeth using my hands. What about this? I'm putting on my gloves using my hands. Here's another one. I was putting on a jumper using my hands. And we need hands to do this. Swimming using my hands. <laughs> We'll see some more swimming through the windows. Come on, let's swim over and find out. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched, which one will it be? It's the square window. Paris and Savannah are going swimming with their mum, Alicia. They go swimming a lot because their mum is a swimming instructor. First, they need to get changed into their swimming costumes. Mum has taught Paris and Savannah a really cool way to get into the water. Goggles down, bring your goggles down. And then you lay down like you're going to get in the water like a crocodile. Lay down on the side. You do that all the time. and Savannah are really good at swimming underwater. and Savannah look like dolphins swimming through those hoops. I wish I could swim like a fish. <laughs> and a splishy, splashy bye-bye. 
like great fun, didn't it? And Paris and Savannah's mum is a swimming teacher, so they've been swimming since they were babies, and they could swim underwater. And I'm going to paint something that swims underwater, a creature. See if you can guess what it is. OK, I'm going to start by using this part of my hand and curving my fingers round. And then I'm going to dip that part of my hand into this yellow paint that I've put in a pot. And I'm going to print one, two, three sea creatures. Now I'm just going to put my finger into the paint and I'm going to make their tails curly. Three curly tails. Now I need to make the head so I'll dip my finger in the yellow paint again and at the top of the body I'll just push down like that. One, two, three. Last one. There. Now I'll just wipe my hands so I don't get yellow paint all over my picture. There we are. Nice and clean. Now, to make the eyes on my sea creatures, I'm going to use this straw. And I've got some black and white paint here and I'm going to dip the end of the straw first in the black paint to make the eyes. Oh, a bit more paint needed there, that's better. There. Oh, <laughs> he's got a big eye. There we are. And these creatures have markings down their backs. So I'm just going to put some black Marks down there. Do you know what they are yet? Have you guessed? They're seahorses. And seahorses are really beautiful creatures. There. There, three seahorses. Now, I'd like to make some bubbles coming out of my seahorses. So, I'm going to dip that end of the straw in the white paint and then do some bubbles. There's some. A bit more paint I think, don't you? There's bubbles and more bubbles here. There we are. Okay, put my straw down there. Now I'll just make sure my hands are clean because now I'm going to put some sea plants on my picture. And I've got some glue here. And I'm going to glue down the edge, that edge there, lots of glue, and that edge there. Just move that out of the way a little bit. There we are. Now, do you know what colour this paper is? Green. And that's going to be my sea plant. And I'm going to screw it up like that and twist it round and stick it on the glue. And do the same with the other one. Really screw it up. It makes a great crinkly noise, doesn't it? There we are. And stick that down. There. Three yellow seahorses swimming under the sea. Hmm. Hi, Tamba. Oh, hello, Justin. Hey, weren't those seahorses pretty? Oh, yes, they were. <laughs> mm. What are you up to? Well, I'm trying to get all of these rings onto this tower, but oh. they don't seem to fit. Oh, I see. Mm. Well, you look like you could uh, do with some help. Shall I help you? Yes, please. Oh, and do you want to help us too? Oh, yes. All right. Well, let's take these rings off here. OK. And let's count them and see how many we've got. <laughs> okay. OK. We've got one, two, three, three four, four, five, five six... six. Seven. Seven ah. rings. Now, what we've got to do, Tamba, is we've got to start with the biggest ring at the bottom of the tower, mm. and then we have to work our way up to the top of the tower and to the smallest ring. Ah. Yeah? OK. OK. 
Right, well, let's start. Now, we have to find the biggest ring. So, right. which one do you think it is? Oh. Do you know which one it is? Hmm. Let's see. Um, I think it might be the blue one. The blue one? Yeah. That's a very good guess. Let's see mm. if you're right. Do you think let's it's the blue see. one? You're right, oh, Tamber, it is. It is, it goes all the way to the bottom. <laughs> well done. Right, which one's next? The next biggest ring. Ah. Oh. Let's try orange. Orange? Yes. All right. Do you think it's the orange ring? Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Oh. No. Oh. I'm afraid that's a little small, isn't it? Yeah. Let's take that one off. Mm. Try again. Yeah, try again. Let's try... Oh, I know. Let's try the purple one. The purple one? Yes. OK. It's the same colour as you, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Purple one. Yes, mm. that's oh, right. That was the next that's... biggest ring. Yeah. Right, now we have yeah. to find the next one. Mm hmm Hmm. We've got five rings left. Oh, let's try green. Green. Yeah, right. I like green. Green. I don't know. It's a bit small. We'll soon find mm. out. Oh, <laughs> it is too small. No, not that one. No. Nope. Do next you know biggest. which one it is? Mm. Ah, the pink one. The pink one? All okay. right, we'll give it a go. Yes, Ooh, it is. Wow. Oh, we're doing well, aren't we? We are. We've got three rings on the tower mm -hmm. and four rings left. Right, which is next? Um, ooh, let's try red. Red. All right. Yes! Ah. <laughs> it is the Got red it. one. Mm. What ring do you think is next? Uh, oh, ooh, let's do yellow. Yellow? Yeah. Mm, OK. It's a bit small to me. Yeah. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it is. It's a bit small, Tamba. No. Nope. Try another mm. one. Orange, green, yellow. Um, Let's try green. Green? Yeah. All right. No, that's a bit not tight quite, too. Oh, so um, it must be the orange one. Yes. So we haven't tried that one yet. Oh, yes, it, it is. is. Hmm. Now we've got two rings left. And they look a very similar size, don't they? Hmm. Do you know which one's bigger? Hmm. I think it's green. Green? Yes. All right, let's give it a go. You're right, oh, it is the green great. one. Uh -huh. So we've already got one yellow ring left. So it has to be the yellow ring at the yeah, top. The Hooray! yellow is the smallest. <laughs> We've gone from the biggest to the smallest ring. <laughs> and we're all tidy as well. Yes, we are. <laughs> mm, thank you. Hey, I think Bonnie, Banana and Mo are doing some tidying up too. <gasps> Kevin and Spanner in space to explore. Seeking out planets never heard of before. Kevin had never seen a planet like this one before. From space, it had looked like a huge flat circle. Now they had landed, it also seemed to be scattered with numbers. Watch out, Spanner. Don't break anything, Kevin warned, stepping over a number three. He needn't have worried. Spanner was mesmerised by a long black arrow that seemed to be moving very slowly on the ground. Ruff, warned Spanner. Ruff, ruff, ruff. He didn't like the look of this moving thing at all. Kevin noticed a ticking sound, soft at first, but getting slowly louder and louder. Suddenly, there was a loud ringing. A worried-looking alarm clock came hurrying towards them. Time to meet visitors, time to meet visitors, muttered the alarm clock to himself. Mustn't be late. He scurried up to the rocket and then stopped. Oh, no, I've missed them. Oh, dear. Um, <clears throat> coughed Kevin. The alarm clock turned round. Who are you? He asked, looking confused. Uh, your visitors, suggested Kevin. You're late, scolded the alarm clock. Come along now, come with me. And he set off at a great pace, with his bell ringing again. Where are we going? asked Kevin. Time for tea, time to give visitors tea, chanted the clock. Spanner licked his lips in anticipation of a bone, but the alarm clock seemed to be slowing down, and his speech was getting rather slurred. Hurry up, we're going, hurry up, we're going to... 
To Kevin and Spanner's amazement, he stopped mid-sentence. Perhaps he needs winding up, suggested Kevin. And he started to turn a knob on the back of the clock, grunting as he did so. Oh, it's a bit stiff. Slowly the clock began to speak again. We mustn't be late, we mustn't be late, we mustn't be late, we mustn't be late. And he charged off at top speed with Kevin and Spanner in hot pursuit. Soon they reached a table laid for tea with lots and lots of jam sandwiches. Tea's ready, chimed the clock. We're just in time. The teapot poured a cup of tea for Kevin. Spanner drank his tea from a saucer under the table whilst Kevin tucked into the jam sandwiches. Suddenly, the alarm rang again. Time to go, chanted the clock. Time for visitors to leave. Come along. Spanner grabbed some jam sandwiches. He would eat them later on, after takeoff. Hmm, Sarah Jane, you don't know why the Tickabilla house is looking so untidy, do you? No, I don't, but it was all right earlier. Yeah, Hello, strange. Hello, you too. Oh, hi, Tamba. <laughs> or should we say Captain Tamba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Tamba, you don't happen to know why the Tickabilla house is looking so messy, do you? Uh, well, I was looking for my sailor's outfit, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, wasn't it in the dressing up box, Tamba? Ah, well, I didn't think so, so I emptied it all out, and there it was. <laughs> ah. I see. <laughs> well, I think we all need to do some tidying up around here, don't you? <laughs> OK. Come on, let's get going, shall we? This is the way we tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. This is the way we tidy up on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. This is the way we tidy up in a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we sweep the floor, sweep the floor, sweep the floor. This is the way we sweep the floor on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we polish the clock, polish the clock, polish the clock. This is the way we polish the clock on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we dust the house, dust the house, dust the house. This is the way we dust the house on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we tidy up, tidy up, tidy up. This is the way we tidy up on a cold and frosty morning. There we go. Hmm. All neat and tidy. <laughs> Why don't you do some tidying up where you are? We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.